Hello everyone! Welcome to our video lesson in science. I am Sir Bayatan, your Earth and Life Science teacher in this episode. Among the eight planets in the solar system, it is a great mystery that Earth is the only planet that has the capability to support life. Thus, here we are today. But the big question then is why? Today, we will learn about the uniqueness of Earth, the only planet that supports life. But before we proceed, we should first answer the next activity. For this, the instruction is for you to identify whether the following statements is a fact or a bluff. Number one, there are other planets in the solar system that is capable of sustaining life like Earth. The correct answer is, good job, it is a bluff. Number two, the distance of the Earth from the Sun made it possible for this planet to support life. is Ray is a fact. Number three, the amount of energy received by Earth from the Sun made possible the availability of liquid surface water on Earth. The correct answer is good job, it is a fact. Number four, the atmosphere of the Earth is too thick that makes it trap enough supply of heat to support life. The correct answer is, very good, it is a bluff. And number five, the presence of liquid water signifies the ability of Earth to support life. What made Earth a special planet? Why is it considered a Goldilocks planet, a planet perfect for life? To answer these basic questions, let us watch this video. Earth, the only planet known to maintain life a product of scientific phenomena and sheer chance. This blue speck in space holds the past, present, and future of our very existence. Approximately 4.5 billion years ago, the Earth formed from particles left over from the creation of our sun. Gravity drew these particles together to form pebbles, which then formed boulders and eventually the Earth. At its heart is a solid inner core covered by a liquid outer core. Above this sits the mantle made of flowing silicate rocks and a rocky crust. This rocky mass is the third planet from the Sun, orbiting the star from an average distance of about 93 million miles. It's close enough to the Sun to be warm, unlike the cold gas giants, but not so close that its surface is exposed to extreme heat and solar radiation as is the case with Mercury. Earth's unique position in the solar system allows it to house phenomena yet to be found anywhere else in the universe, particularly liquid surface water and life. According to one theory, much of Earth's water is as old as its rocks, both of which having formed during the Earth's earliest days. Because of Earth's unique distance from the sun, the planet is able to contain water in all of its forms, liquid, ice, and gas, rather than have them permanently frozen or evaporated into space. 
But Earth is the only known place in the universe with liquid water on the surface, thereby having unique cascading effects on the planet. It hydrates the land, helping create nutrient-rich soil. It collects and pools to form oceans and freshwater systems. And it cycles upward to add moisture to Earth's protective atmosphere. And where there is liquid water, there is life. About 3.8 billion years ago in Earth's oceans, primitive life existed in the form of microbial organisms. They, and the ensuing billions of years, gave rise to a range of more advanced life forms that thrived in Earth's seas, lands, and skies. As the only world known to harbor life, Earth's biodiversity is expansive in nature. An estimated 1.5 million species of plants, animals, bacteria, fungi, and others have been cataloged with potentially millions, if not billions more, yet to be discovered. Home to life and fueled by water, Earth houses a unique global ecosystem as curious and as grand as the astronomical events that made them possible. There you have it, class. With the video you have watched, we were given a glimpse of the main condition why Earth is a habitable planet. Can you identify this? Very good. The main factor why Earth is considered as a habitable planet is due to its distance from the Sun. How far is Earth from the Sun? Very good. It is approximately 93 million miles. What do you think is the implication of this distance? Great! This distance is close enough for Earth to be warm unlike the outer planets such as Uranus and Neptune but not too close that the surface is exposed to extreme heat and radiation like Mercury and Venus. What then is the effect of this distance of Earth from the Sun that made it possible for life to prosper? Good job! This distance of Earth results to availability of liquid surface water. Remember that where there is water, there is also life. The first life forms on Earth were found to have emerged from liquid surface waters of the Earth. But aside from temperature range, suited for liquid water to occur as a result of the just right distance or position of Earth from the Sun, there are other equally important factors which contributed to the uniqueness of Earth to host life on it. Can you name this? Great! These other factors include the atmosphere of the Earth, the steady amount of energy coming from the Sun, and the available nutrients required in sustaining life. What is significant about the atmosphere of the Earth? The atmosphere of the Earth is about 100 miles thick. It keeps the surface of the planet warm and protects it from radiation and small to medium-sized meteorites. Similarly, it is not too thin nor too thick that helps maintain the proper temperature for living things to survive. Other planets in the solar system have either too thin or too thick atmosphere that life seems impossible to harbor. 
how about the steady amount of energy coming from the sun? Why is it important? With a steady input of energy coming from the sun to earth, cells of living things can run the chemical reactions necessary for life. Other planets, on the other hand, receive either a very small or too much amount of energy. Too much of energy, especially coming from ionizing radiation, is harmful and is not suited for living things. And when there is also too little energy, organisms will also not survive. And how about the available nutrients required in sustaining life? Why is this factor important? Take note that Earth correspondingly contains the necessary nutrients to sustain life. These nutrients are needed for the growth and development of living organisms. Without these nutrients, no living organism can ever thrive here on Earth. Summing it all, life on Earth is a product of its uniqueness. It has a distinct position relative to the Sun. But this unique position per se did not directly result to the vast life form here on Earth. Rather, this position has resulted to other factors which combined synergistically in the right proportions and the harm resulted to the highly diversified life system on this planet. These factors include the just right temperature, the atmosphere, the steady input of energy, and the nutrients available for sustenance. All of this resulted to what we have right now, a product of billions of years of creation and evolution. On this instance, you are now ready to summarize what you have learned in this lesson by completing this table. You can write your answer in your science book. Before we end, let us apply what we have learned in this lesson by completing this activity entitled Rush Landing on Planet You are having a space travel riding in a spaceship. On your way, a meteoroid has hit your spaceship. Luckily, you are passing through the Rollo system, which consists of a sun-like star surrounded by four planets, some of which have moons. Your ship has barely enough fuel and guidance ability to allow you to select a nearby unknown planet to crash land. Below are the profiles of each of the planets in the Rollo system. The information is sketchy, but it is all your sensors had time to collect before going offline due to damage caused by the meteoroid. Which planet would you crash land? Support your answer. To finish, let us evaluate what you have learned. You should answer the following questions in your science notebook by providing the correct answer. Number one, what is the main condition why Earth is the only planet in the solar system that supports life? Number two, true or false, Earth can still receive the same amount of energy from the sun if its position from it is changed. Number three, what is the role of the atmosphere in supporting life here on Earth? Number four, which of the following factors that support life here on Earth directly helps in the growth and development of the organisms. A. The steady input of energy from sun. B. The nutrients used to build and maintain. Letter C. 
the atmosphere that makes the surface warm. B, the temperature just right to make water liquid. Number five, do you agree that Earth is a unique planet? Why? There you have it. It has been a productive day to all of us. I am sure that you have learned something new in this episode of our video lesson in science. Again, I am Sir Bayatani, your Earth and Life Science teacher. Thank you very much for watching and keep safe.